What's a hippie, Mum? A hippie? Um, they've got greasy hair, they don't work much, and they like to hug trees, that kind of thing. Why? Amelia says I'm a hippie because of my bandana. Oh, does she? Well, if she says it again, you come and tell me. I'll talk to her about peace and love, OK? What are these doing here? They're red hot. No, they're for my hair. Yeah, I know what they're for, but they're burning a hole in the top and trying to charge me phone here. <sighs> Sorry, it was the nearest plug. You can't leave these lying about with kids in the house. No, it's not Sarah or Jack with burnt fingers, is it? Don't worry, I haven't missed much. Oh, and uh, try not to burn the house down. <sighs> She's with John a long time. She's bound to be a bit scared. Great. Um, I only wanted to say that I was pleased for you. <sighs> what was all that about? Every time I see you two, that's not your best mate. She came up to me. Did she? We live in a village. We're bound to bump into each other. Yeah, and you tell her that you're not interested. Look, just calm down. I'm not going to invite her around for a party, am oh, I? Oh, really? Well, you look very cosy to me. She's my sister. And I'm your daughter. And I am telling you that I don't want you to speak to her. I know you're upset, but I can speak to her want. Right. Well, don't you ever talk to me about loyalty again. Look, just watch your mouth. I can talk to her want if when I want. You think I'm gonna sit around and watch you two patch things you don't up? You have to sit around and do anything. I'm going up to Glasgow to a car auction. I thought I'd disappear for a few days and do everyone a favour. Come with me if you like. That way you can see him speaking to him what I'm up to. I don't even want to look at you. <sighs> Fine. Don't say you weren't invited. Do you know what? Not even an apology. Just him going on about me telling him what to do. It's pathetic. Well, that's just typical of all of them, Debs, to be honest. <sighs> they just say what they think you want to hear, and they don't mean a word of it. Which is why you've got to sting them before they sting you. Hey! You made it, then. I knew you couldn't resist. And you might even get fed, Robs, because Marlon apparently is running some two-for-do for Well, we was just there for a drink, actually. Yep. He almost had to strong-arm me out of the house. Fine. I mean, who needs to eat when there's money to be made? Wow. I can see where you get it from. Well, he's a grown man. I'm sure he can handle it. I'll have a pint, please. Pint. You probably used to 